wanted former chairman of the pension reform task team, Abdul Rashid Mena, who jumped bay, has been arrested in Niger Republic. The fugitive pension thief was arrested Monday evening by the operatives of Niger Republic Intelligence Service. The arrest was done in collaboration with Nigeria's Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. According to PR Nigeria, the arrest was made possible due to an existing mutual relationship and security agreement between the two neighboring countries. EFCC operatives had learned of Mena's escape to Niger about two weeks ago and had worked with that country's security forces to effect his arrest. Mena, along with his company, is facing a 12 count charge of money laundry to the tune of 2 billion naira. His trial continued last week in absentia. Mena jumped bait since 29th. September. Justice Okod Abang of the Federal High Court last week sent to jail Senator Ali Ndume Mena Shorty. He was released on Friday. Hmm. This Mena eh, Nari Jagudao. Nari Crook. Hmm. So he just did this, you know, by himself or he connived with some people. I don't know if really you are innocent. Why are you running the task? Center? You see them. These are the people you see. Oh, they are big men. You see them. Oh, this man is highly placed. Oh, maybe if you see them, say, I don't see you know, that man in Nigeria is very, very decent. He's very, very influential. Is this and that. He's a top gun, this and that. Majority of them are thieves. They are thieves. We see not some of them, oh, but hands have not really, you know, the law has not really caught up with them. They are still trying to manipulate themselves or their ways. A lot of them, you just be looking at them. I don't even respect most of them because they are the ones who have brought this country uh nigerians to to their news running what are you running from and he wanted to put the other man in trouble and you, you know nigeria you know, the more you look the less you see because we don't even trust all of them we don't even know what is obtainable we don't even trust them can you imagine <laughs> a pleasant landing had been prepared for him before his arrest god will judge hey, all this niger republic coming and running nigeria no good do. I am happy for Ndume as the fugitive is arrested in Niger Republic. Hope it's not fake. I hope so. <laughs> I hope, uh, I pray this is not fake news. Hmm. So it is It is only Namde Kano that cannot be traced, Abi. Uh, what, what has uh, Namde got to do with what we are saying? Why Namde Kano shorty case is different is that the federal government invaded the home of uh, Namde Kano with army and police and hammered tanks and Budos into his father's compound and killed many relations with sh such military operations against him is justified to run for safety and his shorties have been exonerated of the liability to produce him in courts. Only if the rule of law can be sustained like this, Nigeria will become a better place for us all. Two billionaire Mina should come face the music. You know, he was feigning sickness. Oh, he wanted to paralyze. He was doing that. Hey, now wow, these people, they are something else. Nothing will happen. Watch and see. Now, then, then. <laughs> you know, people should not just be happy too much because the more you look, the less you see you. The Nigerian people, hmm, Nigerian governments, third time lucky. The authorities will now hold him with the iron hands. He deserves. It seems evasive and elusive, but twice beaten, third time trying to change the adage to suit the situation here. Dr. Bolaji Akinyemi, over to you, please. Even Namde Kano is arrested by Interpol in Singapore. Really? He will soon be granted bail again. They are all making a mockery of the system. If next level must claim its legacy as champion of negotiation, even with criminals, Mena should be rehabilitated. People like Mena should not be granted be such criminals should be remanded in prison while hearing continues in the court. Namde Kano is granted be where is he today? Why is he running a task just because of two billion naira? He should agree with their terms and be free now. Is this the first time you are arresting him? He should be denied further base throughout the period of his trial. Can there be an acceptable judgment for this criminal that stole two billionaire pensioners' money? 
Will there not be a safe landing for him? Will the judiciary live up to expectation, ignore pressures from above and deliver judgment with the fear of God? The world is watching the outcome. Here comes freedom for Senator Ndume and other citizens from Niger stealing in Nigeria. Police would work so hard to arrest criminals only for the court to release. How do we have criminal free society? But who are the criminals? Bankrolling me now. Good question. Bankrolling him. My goodness. Two billion naira. Not be my mind. Two billion naira. People sweat. A lot of people have died in the process. You know, one thing we've been talking about, they will tell you innocent until proven guilty. But you can imagine the two billion naira is missing. It's no it's nowhere to be found because if the money is there, there will be no need for all this uh, back and forth. Not at all. A lot of people have died as a result of this. Just like I said, the truth is that uh, they will still grant him bail. We can all see the efforts of the Nigeria police, but believe me, they are going to release him. A good one. If another senator like, like let them shut him again for bail. APC members, let him go and reap the fruits of his labor. But why running? Why is he running? A clear conscience, fear no accusation. <laughs> this man, eh? But don't be surprised again. Before you know it, they'll give him one appointment after everything, after Google, Google. They will give him appointment. Now, Nigeria will deal. Why is he running if he has not done anything wrong? If really his sons are clear. Why is he running? Where is he running to? Where is he running to? That is the question. Where is he running to? Hey. This is not the, this is the second time. This is the second time. So what kind of legacy are they going to be giving people? Even his son too. I think he's a, he's been uh whether it's in the prison, he, he was the one when the father was to be arrested the first time. The boy just pulled that gun. He wanted to <laughs> combat with the police. You can imagine at that age. How old was he? Whether 20, 19 or between 19 and 21. You know, you're thinking that hey, I'm a big man. I'm a big man's, uh, big man's son. Nothing they happen. Nothing they happen. Those are the people who do not have, don't even know what is happening. And these guys are feeding fat on the sweat of the masses. Poor masses are that. Poor masses are that. You can imagine. Now it's been caught. So guys, let's hear your opinion. Let's know your thoughts on this.